Uh, one more before we wrap things up. George Hewitt should have been suspended for his high hit on Lockie Neal. Uh, I am happy to answer that one too. 1,000% he should have been. Yeah, um, agreed. D disgraceful to not get a suspension. Really disappointing we, from the AFL to not suspend him. We and had this a few years ago, I think four or five years ago, and it was pre-season with Shane Mumford. Yeah. Similar action. First time we get to look at it all year, just rub them out. So rub them out. Yeah. Again. Opening round, it's, send it's a set message. That precedent yeah. from so, so what about Lockie Neal then? The tummy tap. I think the tummy they, taps. Yeah, not Tom 20, Hawkins, I, I reckon, got two. Get, yeah, but there's something about hitting someone in the head. I'm, I'm more I bigger on the Hewitt one a week. I'm, I'm happy for some of those tummy taps to get a fine. So Hewitt was graded as um, careless, careless, not intentional. But Neal was intentional. Intentional and yeah. not careless, but they I, both got the same I fine. I kind of understand that, but I, I just it's think if you're if you're whacking someone in the head you got to get suspended. Yeah. Like, can, like, this is the whole a, point. It's a weird way to put it. You can tackle someone around the tummy, so that's not a, a no-go yeah. area. You can't touch people in there. No, head, it's, 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 just, it's, it's nuts. And the thing is, it's just... The AFL, we, we've just come off, off uh, the, yep. the Angus Brayshaw uh, sad retirement for con ongoing concussions, and everyone's getting stuck in a Braden Maynard, and everyone's saying it's a tragedy and a, a, you know, that, that uh, Brayshaw had to retire in the prime of his career. And this is because we all know that the, the AFL's not doing enough to protect the player. And this is the same thing. If, if Hewitt had punched Neil and Neil was concussed with from the punch, which can happen. Like, it's so dependent on the situation. It's not like... If that was, if he punched Angus Brayshaw, is he more likely to be concussed? Yes. Well, is he, he, more, is he, he is. more likely to be suspended? This is another question. It's like... Well, probably, how much of this is being? Yeah, probably not. But he's more likely get to get AI to look at so these you, instead. So you're, you can't tell me that if he, if Neil gets knocked out and hits the ground, yeah. you can't tell me uh, George Hewitt isn't getting eight weeks for that. It's nuts. It can't be. It, we cannot just be so focused on the outcome, the outcome, and ignore the action. It is the action we need to get rid of. I feel like we say this the, every it, week on just, this podcast. It's maddening, but I don't understand why it takes. It, well, it's not, it, there's no change. It's just year, it's every year we go through this same garbage. Uh, no offense to the MRO, but has been out of the game a long time. It's probably time for a, a refresh on that. Yeah, and you know, full disclosure, you know, Lockie Neal and George Hewitt, two of my favourite players. <laughs> I like them both. They shouldn't. Neither of them should be playing this week.